Let's come on our backs. Relax the feet, relax the legs, relax the arms and the shoulders. <sighs> Find your breath. Then we'll simply bend the knees at 90 degrees, bring the soles of the feet together, and then let the knees spread to the sides. You can keep your hands on the sides, palm face up, or one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. Following the breath, softening. Trying to make sure the back of the neck is long. You can think about tucking the tailbone in just a little bit. And we're not pushing the knees down, we're just letting them hang. An option here is to release the heels a bit farther away from the tailbone or bring them closer together. Just finding that sweet spot to drop into the body, drop into the breath. Just a few more breaths here, feeling a stretch on the inner thighs, breathing into the tension, softening with the exhales. Option to use your hands for support. You can bring the knees together and then toe heel your feet out so that the knees can fall in. Outer edges of the feet turning inwards. And again, hands on the belly, chest, or by the side. The knees don't need to touch, but Instead, we want to make sure that we're softening to the outside of the legs here. If you feel like you need to go deeper, you can always peel toe an inch wider, but not so much that you feel like you're gripping. Scanning the body, searching for that tension. Ah, <sighs> softening into it, breathing into it. One more breath here. And then walk your feet back so that they're in alignment with your hips, knees, toes, everything straight, maybe a little bit wider if you need to. And then we're gonna go right knee in and down towards the left ankle. Turn that right leg in, in for an rotation. Keeping that left knee straight, pointing straight up, switch sides. Keeping the right knee straight up, the left knee comes down and in internal rotation on the leg, on the hip. Let's do one more. Right knee down. This time we can let the left knee open to the side. Let that twist go into the waistband, slightly into the torso, keeping the right shoulder down. And all the way to the right side. Same thing. Softening to the hip finding the stretch all the way up to the torso. Inhale to the left side. Exhale to the right side. Inhale left. Exhale right. You can try bending the knees a little bit more if you feel that's better or sliding them farther apart. 
it's probably gonna be somewhere in the middle. All right, we'll go a couple more times on each side. Inhale into one side, exhale into the other. And then back to center. And then from here, we're gonna separate the legs and then extend them out, putting the legs in a V shape. Hands are by the side, now palms up. We're gonna come into Shavasana, our final resting pose or dead man or corpse pose. Either way, all we're doing here is completely surrendering every muscle in the body, giving into full relaxation and simply staying still as we follow the breath. can stay here for as long as you like. When you feel like coming out, you simply move your toes, move your fingers, gently move the ankles and the wrists. Deepening the breath. We take an inhale, reach the arms back, stretch the heels forward. And then bend the knees, feet on the floor, roll on to your right side, resting your head on your arm. And then extend your left leg all the way forward. Use your left arm to press yourself back up. And then from here, you can come to standing or to a seated position. Good job.